it's Kelly Gets Seven, and today I have a vlog for you. No longer will vlogs be awkward with me having nothing to say. This is a new age, people. So today, while being forced through various shades of torture during dancing and chorus, my friend and I reminisced on some childhood shows. That does not mean we started. Nineties kids, kids remember this. Only nineties kids remember. Definitely nineties kids. Only nineties kids remember. Nineties kids remember this. But only nineties kids remember. Bill Nye's Science Guy. Only nineties kids. Shut up! Please shut up. What? Why? We don't care if you were born in or around the nineties. Thanks. But if you haven't noticed, it's not the 90s anymore. Cry me a river, build me a bridge, and get over it. I saw this post on Tumblr of a guy who said only 90s kids remember the old YouTube app on the first iPod Touch. Thank you for even making 90s kids cry themselves. If I remember correctly, it was around 2007 that iPod Touches even came into existence. Nailed it. 100% nailed it. And Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I watched that as a kid. I was born in 2000. Another thing. Shut up about Frozen! I know it's wonderful and magical and musical, but you have to let it go. No, seriously. I'm childish for watching anime. Right. Well, I like your Frozen shirt. Anyways, back to it. We are performing a collection of high school musical songs in chorus, which includes ridiculous dances to accompany them. Well, you know what I say to that, Miss Sharpay? Fabulous, that is my simple request. I want fabulous. He was making the fabulous position. I've actually never seen High School Musical, nor do I really want to. I thought about it, don't get me wrong. But then we started singing those songs in chorus. Again, my buddy and I were chatting about some old shows. Mostly Nickelodeon shows. Actually, I would like to show my appreciation towards Nickelodeon. Thank you for finally acknowledging the fact that homosexuals are not not appropriate for children. Excuse me, show producers, it's the 21st century. Gays, bisexuals, lesbians, transgenders, etc. are not something you can just hide behind an excessive amount of propaganda. And to the parents of these children, it's not going to make your child gay. And you don't just become gay because you- Anyways, here's a nice little list of shows I fond over as a child. Big Time Rush. I remember when I was in like the third grade, I, my friend Riley told me about this awesome show called BTR coming out. Both of us were overly excited for it. And I loved BTR and its show for too long. I had like all their songs. And then I realized this show made no sense at all. First of all, why do all boy bands think the best approach on dancing is to parade across the stage like My Little Ponies? There are literally two two things that Big Time Rush managed to accomplish in their choreography. Sliding across the stage and doing random misplaced backflips as a substitute for actual dancing. Second of all, Kendall managed to get all four of the main characters to Hollywood by singing a weird and embarrassing song about turds to insult Gustavo. I really wish it were that easy. I Carly. Now I'm not going to lie. I think I'll watch this show like every day for like three years straight. And it did get old. I watched it from maybe the fourth episode to the last. And all throughout it, I adored that show. Though to look back, some of the content in that show was ridiculous. I still think the show is pretty cute, but it does a great job of making high school look a little better than it actually is. For example, throughout the entire show, the only thing that manages to count as actual high school drama is those two episodes where Carly and Sam have a fight. Other than that, there's really only one other instance, and it's where everyone finds out Freddy hasn't had his first kiss. Don't judge me, I'll cut you! I'm sorry. I'm stuck in that fandom. Anyways, who the hell cares that you haven't had your first kiss? Thank you, Nickelodeon, for throwing it out there that at high school age, you must have your first kiss already. Please do admit that sex in high school is must too. I have a lot of friends who haven't had their first kisses, and I don't care. Because who honestly cares? No one, really. Anyways, high school is the epitome of drama, and you've managed to crap out more propaganda. I know most of the world is not in agreement with gays, bi's, transgenders, but is it really only my school that has a lot of these people? Seriously, Nickelodeon, if a boy and a girl can kiss and it's still G-rated, then I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't be more inappropriate for homosexuals to have their chance to shine. Now, I know that it can be offensive to other religions, but if you haven't noticed already, we're already in a bias country. My friend got scolded by a teacher for not saying the Pledge of Allegiance because she's polytheistic. There is n a lot of bias aspects of TV shows that can be offensive to many different people. So why is it so bad for homosexuals to be addressed in a child's TV show? It's no different. But I'm proud of you, Nickelodeon, for trying. 
I don't even want to get started on Disney because I'll never stop. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have something you'd like to add to the discussion, feel free to hit up the comment section below. I don't even care if it's a hate comment. Let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel and this was an interesting video for you, check out the rest of my channel. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye!